Welcome back to Beyond Days of the Reef. I'm your host, Kyler. Let's continue our exploration into the warmest flavor of ocean, the tropical oceans. Get ready for a deeper dive into the wonderful world of coral. What are corals? Are they animals? Plants? Maybe a little bit of both? Even though they may look like beautiful stony plants growing up from the floor of the ocean, they're actually tiny animals that live together in groups which we call colonies. We would call the corals in these images reef building corals because they grow together to form massive living reefs where almost every single surface is covered in living coral. Most reef building corals are stony corals, which means that they build a hard skeleton made of calcium carbonate, a mineral that things like clamshells are made of. What do these tiny individual animals look like? Let's zoom in for a closer view. This is a close up picture of a coral. Do these look familiar? Each of these little animals may look like an anemone, but they're actually called polyps. Polyps are the little animals that grow together in a colony to form corals. Polyps look and function just like a sea anemone. They have a mouth in the middle of their tentacles. What does an individual polyp look like? Just like this. There are the tentacles on top, a mouth in the middle, and only have one cavity inside their body, which is their stomach. The part labeled the basal plate at the bottom is their stony skeleton. You can see that the polyps are embedded in this. Each of these polyps are connected together to form the large network that we call the colony. Besides eating food using their mouth, corals can also gain energy from the sun like a plant. How might they do this? They have a super special ability. You may have heard about symbiosis, where two different organisms live closely together and benefit each other. Corals have a symbiosis with algae called zooxanthellae inside their bodies. You can see the algae is the green blobs that are on these coral polyps on the left. The individual algae cells are on the right. These algae are like tiny little plants. They perform photosynthesis and capture the energy from the sun. They give this energy to the corals. In return, the corals provide protection and nutrients for the algae. Now that we've discovered what corals are and how they function, let's explore the ways in which coral colonies can grow and where they can be found. Click on today's next episode of Beyond Days of the Reef to learn more.